going to read from the uh, private oral exam guide. I'm going to be in chapter 4, advanced avionics. This will be section F. This will be 4-26. Describe the function of the following avionics equipment acronyms. Yeah. A H R S A D C P F D M F D F D F M S I N S A H R S Attitude and Heading Reference System Composed of three access sensors that provide heading, attitude, and yaw information for aircraft. HRS are designed to replace traditional mechanical gyroscopic flight instruments and provide superior reliability and accuracy. ADC Air data computer, an aircraft computer that receives and processes pitot pressure, static pressure, and temperature to calculate precise altitude, indicated airspeed, true airspeed, and vertical speed, and air temperature. PFD, primary flight display, a display that provides increased situational awareness to the pilot by replacing the traditional six pack instruments with an easy to scan display that shows the horizon, airspeed, attitude, vertical speed trend, trim, rate of turn, and more. MFD, multi-function display, a cockpit display capable of presenting information, navigation data, moving maps, terrain awareness, etc. to the pilot in configurable ways, often used in concert with the PFD. FD, flight director, an electronic flight computer that analyzes the navigation selection, signals, and aircraft parameters. It presents steering instructions on the flight display as command bars or crossbars for the pilot to position the nose of the aircraft over, a, over or follow. FMS, Flight Management System, computer system containing a database for programming of routes, approaches, and departures that can supply navigation data to the flight director autopilot from various sources and can calculate flight data such as fuel consumption, time remaining, possible range, and other values. INS, Inertial Navigation System. A computer-based navigation system that tracks the movement of an aircraft via signals produced by onboard accelerometers. The initial location of the aircraft is entered into the computer and all subsequent movement is then sensed and used to keep the aircraft position uploaded. What is the function of a magnet magnetometer? <laughs> uh, magnetometer is a device that measures the strength of the Earth's magnetic field to determine aircraft's heading. It provides this information digitally to the AHRS, the altitude, you know, the attitude and heading reference system. Yep, digitally to the AHRS, which then sends it to the PFD. When powering up an aircraft with an FMS RNAV unit installed, how will you verify the effective dates in the navigation database? The effective dates for the navigation database are typically shown on a startup screen that is displayed as the system cycles through its startup self-test. Does an aircraft have to remain stationary during AHRS system initialization? Some AHRSs must be initialized on the ground prior to departure. The initialization procedure allows the system to establish a reference attitude used as a benchmark for all future attitude changes. Other systems are capable of uh, initialization while taxiing as well as in flight. Which standby flight instruments are normally provided in advanced avionics aircraft? Every aircraft equipped with electronic flight instruments must also contain a minimum set of backup standby instruments, usually conventional round dial instruments. They typically include an attitude indicator, an airspeed indicator, and an altimeter. Hmm. Every aircraft equipped with electronic flight instruments must also contain a minimal set of backup standby instruments. Usually conventional round dial instruments typically include an attitude indicator, an airspeed indicator, and an altimeter. If one display fails, PFD or MFD, what information will be presented on the remaining display? In the event of a display failure, some systems offer a reversion capability to display the primary flight instruments and engine instruments on the remaining operated display. When a display failure occurs, what other system components will be affected? Some systems failure of a display will also result in partial loss of navigation, communication, and GPS capability. Reference your specific AFM POH. Number eight, what display information will be affected when the ADC failure occurs? 
Inoperative airspeed, attitude, and vertical speed indicators shown with red X's on the PF2 indicate the failure of the air data computer. What display information will be lost when an AHRS failure occurs? An inoperative attitude indicator shown with a red X on the PFD indicates failure of the AHRS. How will loss of magnetometer, <laughs> magnetometer affect the AHRS operation? Heading information will be lost. Hmm. Additional study questions. Chapter 4, 4 29. Does the nose wheel turn when the rudder is depressed in flight? Hmm. Is the braking system, if the braking system is not functioning, will the parking brake work? If the brakes on the left side pilot are not functioning, will the brakes on the right side also be inoperative? Explain the procedure for starting your airplane with external power. You cannot start your airplane due to low battery, so you request an external start via a ground power cart. What problems might still occur after the engine has started? In the event of electrical system failure, what time duration can you reasonably expect electrical power from the battery? What effect would positioning the master switch to the off position have an aircraft system while in flight? What instruments are affected when the pitot tube freezes, static torque freezes? What is the purpose of the alternate static source? If you set the altimeter from 29.15 to 29.85, what change occurs? All right, that's it for chapter four, airplane systems. That finishes off on 4-29. Gonna go into chapter five now, see ya.